So how to download and install VirtualBox as well as Cloudera Quick Start VM on Windows 10 so that you will learn various Hadoop ecosystem technologies and develop big data and uh, data engineering related applications from scratch. This is first step in your learning journey if you are looking to build your career in uh, data engineering. So in this video, I'm going to show you in a step by step manner to download and install VirtualBox and Cloudera Quick Start VM coming up. Hello folks, Nitin here and this is the AI University channel where you can learn all your favorite digital technologies like machine learning, deep learning, AI, big data Hadoop, virtual reality, augmented reality and cloud computing to take your career to new heights. If you are new here, consider subscribing to this channel or if you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. So let's jump straight into it. So what is a virtual box? Well, virtual box is a cross platform virtualization software, which allows users to run multiple operating system in a single machine and to freely switch between operating system instances running simultaneously. We can run Linux on our windows or run windows and Linux on Mac system. It can create and manage a guest virtual machine, each with a guest operating system and its own virtual environment so let's download the virtual box now so just open your web browser and type this link virtualbox.org slash wiki slash downloads and i will also provide these uh, download links in the description section of this video as well so on this virtual uh, box web page go on to windows hosts and you will see that an exe file download will start at the lower left corner so once this uh, download is complete you can then double click on this exe file and you can see that download is completed here so we can just double click on it and follow the instructions to install this on our system so you will be provided with this uh, oracle vm virtual box 6.0.14 setup so click on next keep all these defaults selected so you can see that it, it is going to be installed on this location click on next again get all these uh, defaults selected click on next and then click on install so now click on finish so let's go ahead and open the virtual box and uh, this is how the interface of virtual box looks like now whenever you want to create any virtual machine you you just need to click on new so here you can just give uh, the name of uh, the virtual machine you want to create okay and then uh, you can give a type here there are several options like linux solaris uh, mac etc and you can also select the version from here so for example if i have selected the type as microsoft windows then i can select all these versions of microsoft windows so let me cancel it for now so if you want to get more details on virtual box, then you can just click on a documentation link here available on virtual box web page and you can then uh, click on either uh, end user documentation, technical documentation or source code repository uh, to get more details about it. All right. So our virtual box is installed now. Now let's go ahead and download and install a uh, cloud era quick start VM, which provides a standalone, a single node cluster environment to work with various Hadoop ecosystem technologies. So let's open the browser and type download cloud era quick start VM. So the first link you will get is cloud era VM downloads, uh, pipe free downloads, right? So just click on it. Now scroll down to quick start link below here and click on download quick starts. And on the, in the get started now section, just select the platform. All right, since we uh, have already installed the virtual box, so we are going to utilize this virtual box uh, platform to run our Hadoop single node cluster, okay? So click virtual box and then click on get it now. So you will be provided with this form. You need to enter your details uh, on this form 
provided by Cloudera. And once you provide all your details, the download will start right away. So you can see that in my case, the download uh, has started here. So based on your uh, internet speed, it will take some time to get downloaded. And as you can see here, the size uh, for this particular file, the zip file is 5.5 GB. So it will take some time here. So once this download is complete, then you can click on this up arrow here and then click on show in folder. So you can see that there is a zip file created here in the downloads folder of mine. So I will uh, first keep this file in a particular folder on my machine so that I accidentally don't uh, delete this these files from uh, my downloads folder. So I created a separate folder for Cloudera on my uh, you know machine or on my computer and I just kept this file here. Okay, so let's right click on it and unzip this file. So when you open this unzipped folder, you will see these uh, files. Uh, one is virtualbox.ovf, another one is disk1.vmdk file, okay, which is a disk image of uh, this Cloudera VM. So now let's complete the Cloudera setup. So let's move on to our uh, virtual uh, box uh, we installed earlier, okay, and then we will click on file and then import appliances. Once we reach here on this window, you can just click on this browse button to select the quick start VM from the downloads or uh, uh, from the uh, folder where I have kept that uh, zip file or unzipped file, right? So here I have created this cloud error. So let's click on this and then select this .ovf file. Once we select that, that and then after that, let's click on next. So once I click on next, we'll see this default uh, configurations related to cloud area VM like operating system, right? Red Hat 64 bit, then we have CPU cores, uh, which is one uh, RAM is four GB here, right? So you, you can always change these configurations later on. Okay. So now let's click on import. So you will see that uh, it will start importing the virtual disk image into the VM box. So let's wait for uh, getting it imported. So once the import is complete, as you can see, the import is complete here now. Uh, we can just select the quick start VM here, or I would say a uh, quick start VM image here. And uh, then we will click on settings here on the top middle section. So the intent here is to increase the RAM as well as number of cores here uh, on Cloudera uh, Quick Start VM as uh, the Cloudera Quick Start VM is uh, very CPU in intensive. So it requires a good amount of RAM as well as number of cores in order to work with the different Hadoop ecosystem technologies seamlessly. So let's click on system and here we will increase the base memory. Okay. So my uh, computer is a 16 GB uh, has 16 GB RAM. So what I will do is I will just uh, increase it to 8 GB RAM. Okay, the base memory will be increased to 8 GB. Okay, so now it is 8 GB RAM. Now move on to the processors tab. So as you can see, the by default it has already chosen number of uh, cores as two. Uh, so I will keep the number of processors as two here. And then after that, we will click on OK. So now you can see the information uh, about the system. Here you can see the base memory is 8 GB now. Number of processors are two here. So now let's start our Cloudera virtual machine by clicking on start button here at the top. So it will take some time to start up because there are several Cloud, uh, cloud error services which are required to get started and fully functional before we are provided with cloud error environment. Please note that since we are going to have a single node cluster, so we will have only one server and one agent to get started. Okay. In the background on our machine. So once the, uh, cloud error quick start VM is up and running, you will see, uh, the environment screen, something like this, or an interface, something like this. 
all right so let's click on terminal at the top here so that we can make uh, the admin console accessible all right so please note that cloudera admin console can be used to browse the cluster take a look at various hadoop services and its roles uh, as well as work with the cluster using command line or through the web interface all right so we uh, when i'm saying uh, admin console i'm always referring uh, the cloudera manager here type command host name here to check if you have access to the cluster and you can see that output it gave an output as a quick start uh, dot cloud error right now let's type another command which is a hadoop command to access the uh, list of files uh, and i am trying to list all the list down all the uh, files and folders at the root directory okay so i will type something like this so you can see that it showed all the different folders available at the root directory here okay and we have uh, folders associated with hbase with solar user where etc okay so these are the different folders or directories available we can also check the server status by typing the command service cloud era scm server status so you will receive a message like uh, uh, to use cloud era express free uh, version uh, we need to basically uh, type this or run this command sudo home uh, slash cloud era slash cloud era manager hyphen hyphen express but please note uh, that uh, you need to have at least 8 GB RAM and 2 CPU cores to enable that. Okay, then only it will run seamlessly. Now, in order to access the Cloudera admin console, you can try to launch uh, the Cloudera Express by clicking on uh, this icon, launch Cloudera Express. Perfect. So now you can see that our uh, Cloudera manager or Cloudera admin console is up and running now. Okay, so let's open the browser. Okay, first copy this link. Okay, okay, so we can just paste it here. Press enter. And provide the username as Cloudera and password as Cloudera again. So you can see that this is the interface of Cloudera manager. So you can see that it is uh, it has opened successfully uh, when we provided the user ID as Cloudera and password as Cloudera. So folks, this is it for this video. In the next video, I will be covering components available on Cloudera manager or Cloudera admin console using which we can quickly configure, monitor, deploy the clusters as well as manage the services assign the role instances to the host etc so here is today's question what are the prerequisites or system requirements to have cloudera manager work on your computer seamlessly please post your comments answers in the uh, comment section given below so that i can get a chance to incorporate your feedback you can also post your technical questions in the comment section and i will try to answer the same if you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel, consider clicking that little subscribe button. In case you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming video. So keep on watching. Thank you.